former President Trump's actions on January 6th may not keep him from dominating Republican primary polling, but it may cost him a place on the ballot in several states across the country. What would that mean? Multiple lawsuits have cited Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, claiming it disqualifies Trump from being added to the ballot. Section 3, the Insurrection Clause, was drafted after the Civil War and states that anyone who has sworn an oath to uphold the Constitution and then attempts an insurrection is barred from ever holding office again. The case in Minnesota will be the first to test this theory. State law there allows petitioners to directly reach out to the Supreme Court to disqualify a candidate. The case is scheduled to begin next week. And joining us now, Democratic Governor of Minnesota, Tim Waltz. Thank you very much, Governor, for being on this morning. Um, do you think this case has the chance of being successful? Well, good morning, Mika. First and foremost, in Minnesota, we believe very strongly no one's above the law. And I, I, I think folks should know one of the petitioners who brought this forward is a highly respected former Secretary of State, Joan Grow, an election mm -hmm. expert, not just in Minnesota, across the country. So, yeah, this is a serious case. It will be heard. But I, I want folks to know, too, is the other way we hold uh, Donald Trump accountable will be at the ballot box. So we are certainly preparing to do that, too. Um, but this needs to go forward. If you ignore the law and especially something I think Minnesotans and, and Americans maybe get caught up in their daily lives, mm -hmm. the case in Georgia is about trying to overthrow a democratically elected government. This is stuff you only thought you heard about uh, elsewhere in the world, but it's right here. So yeah, this is serious um, and, and it should go forward. What do you think should be revealed in court and to Minnesotans um, through this case? And also, do you know of any other states doing the same? Yeah, I know Colorado is. I know there's others out there. We simply, you know, it's on the judicial side of things. So, we, you know, our administration doesn't have a lot to do with it. But I, I think the point on this is, is, again, what you're seeing coming out of this, uh, these plea deals in, in Georgia and with uh, former Chief of Staff Mark Meadows uh, looking for immunity. This is serious. This is serious because it happened that mm -hmm. uh, the president uh, stood on the mall down there, uh, told folks to go up and disrupt the counting of electors, false electors and some of those. So it needs to be heard. But I think the one thing is, is keeping our focus in Minnesota is we need to be prepared to let folks legally cast their ballot. I certainly think there are numerous reasons that Donald Trump is disqualified from being the president. Uh, this will simply, uh, I think, test the legal case on the 14th Amendment. So, Governor, on that question about the fourth, 14th Amendment, do you worry about the balance of, OK, maybe this is legally accurate, legally correct and, and could win a conviction or, or keep him off the ballot versus keeping Donald Trump off of the ballot in Minnesota? In other words, giving him and yeah. his supporters the fuel to say, look yes. what they're doing. They won't even let people vote on me. Yes, I, I do. And I, I think uh, that's exactly been my point on this is this will not matter what happens in court. Donald Trump will lose in Minnesota as he should because his policies are bad and the other things that have happened. I do worry about that. But I also think it comes up against that idea that is that a reason to just ignore the law? Is it a reason to just let this slide, if you will, even though in the long run, I do think that there is a danger of that, that they'll say, well, if he'd have been on the ballot, he would have won. That's not true. He will not. Um, but I don't think you can ignore the law. I certainly don't think people who said this was, you know, a thinking this is no big deal. This was insurrection against the United States government. And that's what they're proving in Georgia. And people around the former president are admitting it. They're, they're pleading guilty. You don't plead guilty if you didn't do it. So I do worry. I think it's a I think it's a very valid point. Um, but I think you still need to go forward with this. We'll be prepared to make sure that we're ready on Election Day. Governor, with all due respect to the people who are bringing this to court, this ballot question, uh, you're a governor, so you see people on an ordinary daily basis. I mean, you're not like the president, isolated. You see people. So what do you think most Minnesotans who you represent think is more important? The Vikings against the Packers this Sunday? <laughs> this ballot yeah. question that we're talking about this morning? The price of well, gas and groceries? What's on their yeah. minds? 
You know, actually, this is a really good point, because I said people are going to daycare today. They're getting their kids in school. I was at the Monday night game when we defeated the 49ers. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. These are real things. I, I worry that what's happening, like in the House, I'm a former member. These are not serious people. They're going to pat themselves on the back today for after 21 days of getting the speaker. It's ludicrous. And then they see all of these cases, 91 indictments, all of, all of the things that are happening. There's a danger that this becomes background noise. What folks care about in Minnesota is this week we were announced as a hydrogen hub. Joe Biden's delivering on the things that make a difference. And they're starting to see all of this is circus. What matters to them is that our economy is moving in Minnesota. We're moving towards a clean energy economy. We're expanding access to meals for children in school. Those are things that the Biden-Harris administration did. And I think it's important for all of us. And this is why this question is really good. This case needs to go forward and it needs to be heard because the law matters. But let's not be distracted about this. This is a question about, yes, our democracy. And it's a question about those policies that improve lives. So it's a very good point. People don't want to be absorbed with this 24-7. The circus around Donald Trump and the nonsense of House Republicans. That's why we need to bring some sanity back to this. Joe Biden wakes up in the morning, gets the job done. Uh, that's what I think they're thinking about. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, thank you very much. Keep us posted in all of this. And thank you for coming on the show this morning. We Thanks so much. It.